The parallel plates of the capacitor in this problem are separated by a distance d of one millimeter. We're also given the plate areas and told that the space between them is filled with Teflon, which we can look up and find has a dielectric constant of 2.1. There's 12 volts of potential across the plates, and we're asked in part A to find the magnitude of charge Q on each plate. That's the capacitance times the voltage. The capacitance of this parallel plate capacitor is K, the dielectric constant, times epsilon naught A over D. So when we substitute that and calculate, we find there is 5.02 nanocoulombs of charge on each plate. Part B asks us to use Gauss's law to find the electric field magnitude inside the Teflon. I'll write Gauss's law here, where this free enclosed charge is the charge that we calculated in part A. Before we draw a Gaussian surface to use on the left-hand side, let's note that the electric field in that integral is due to two sources. It's due to the electric field from the top plate, which I'll draw as positive, so that electric field lines are directed away from it. And it's also due to the negative bottom plate. I'll draw those electric field lines in orange. They're directed towards that negative plate. The total electric field E is the vector sum of the blue electric field from the top and the orange field from the bottom. They have the same magnitude, so we see that above and below the plates, they cancel, and in between the two plates, they're both directed in the downwards direction. So now we can draw a Gaussian cylinder with top and bottom areas of A and come back to evaluate the integral. The quantity E dot dA integrated over the Gaussian surface is just E times A. Due to the electric field between the two plates, we multiply by K, and that equals the charge Q over epsilon naught. Solve this for the electric field E, and substitute the known charge, the dielectric constant epsilon naught in the plate area, to find the electric field magnitude is 12,000 volts per meter. In part C, we're asked to find the electric field if the voltage source is disconnected and the Teflon is removed. Removing the Teflon just turns the dielectric constant to 1, and because the voltage source has been removed, no charge can enter or leave the capacitor, so Q is the same as it was before. The effect of this is to take our expression from the electric field in part B, and instead of dividing by 2.1, the dielectric constant for Teflon, we divide by 1 the dielectric constant for a vacuum. This means our answer here is 2.1 times the value we got in part B, which works out to 25.2 kilovolts per meter.